Hello, everybody out there in ukulele world. Um, today, we are going to learn how to play the first four beats of Island in the Sun by Weezer. Um, so, our first chord is an E minor 7 chord. All right? So, what I need you to do is get your piece hippie fingers. Groovy, dude. All right? So, then we're going to go flat against our front, 10 o'clock, into the elbow. And we're going to hold it with the front part of our arm here, all right? And then we're going to put our thumb on the back, and with those hippie fingers, we're going to put one on the second fret of the C string and the second fret of the A string. So it's going to be the top string is open, then it's going to be the second fret, and then it's going to be the third string open. And then the bottom string, 2nd fret. And this is called an E minor 7 chord. We won't get into the specifics of how it got its crazy name. At least not today. But that's our first chord. Um, it's a pretty peaceful sounding chord, I think. Pretty mellow. Now in the actual recording, they play a regular E minor chord. But we're going to do the slightly easier, slightly more mellow version. So that's our first chord. Then the next chord we need is an A minor chord. So um, for A minor, we just need our first finger, who's number one. Thank you, everybody. So we're going to put our pointer finger on the second fret of the top string. All right, so we are all the way up here. And that's our A minor chord. It's a very sad sound. We're sad. It's only Tuesday. Still winter. Hey, it's spring next week. That's fun. All right. So let's practice our chord change. All right. Go to, back to our first chord, E minor 7. E minor 7. And then you're just going to pretty much move your pointer finger to the top string, A minor. So this chord change isn't too bad. The harder ones come later. So we're going to go from E minor 7 to A minor. E minor 7 to A minor. Practice putting both fingers down at the same time. Kaplow. You just put them, plant them both together and then move to A minor. Put them both down. Go to A minor. That's our first chord change. A minor, or sorry, E minor 7. Changing to A minor. So we have the, this mysterious chord to this sad chord. But we're mysterious, now we're sad. We're mysterious. Now we're sad. I don't know. All right, so let's talk about the counts. Now, so far when we've been playing ukulele, we've done lots of left-hand stuff. We haven't talked about the right hand too much. So let's talk a little bit about how to strum before we put it together. So um, let's, let's reset. Flat against our front, 10 o'clock. We're holding it here. We're holding it here. So... Um, if we're holding it just right in the little webbing area here, um, and our forearm is covering the front into like our elbow, we should be able to wiggle both of our fingers on both hands, all of our fingers on both hands, and support the ukulele. We should be able to hold it up with like our arm and our hand, all right? Um, so now... Let's make with our right hand a finger pistol. Bang, bang, bang. Just like that song, right? And then we're going to point it down and shoot off our toes. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, so what we're going to do is with our pointer finger, lightly just kind of flick the strings down. It's really important that like you kind of go down across the strings, perpendicular to the string. It's going to hurt a lot more if you keep your, your hand sideways. If you keep your hand sideways, this is going to hurt. So point it down and go down across. And this should be relatively pain free. All right. And if you want a little bit more spice in your life, you could use all of your fingers. 
I want you to use your fingernails, flick down across the strings. Right? Your hands should be nice and loose and relaxed. And we're just kind of strumming down. It should almost be like a very lazy kind of motion, like meh, meh, meh. I pretend like there's some fuzz on your shoulder. You just kind of flick it off. And then you just kind of go and just flick the strings. Um, it should be one kind of like hybrid motion here. There should be some finger flicking action. Like everybody just kind of make fireworks with your fingers, open and close your fingers. There should be some wrist rotation. So you should be rotating your wrist a little bit. And your arm should be going up and down a little bit. So with this hybrid motion, there should be some rotation, some up and down, and some flicking. And this is called a down strum. This is how we're going to do a down strum. We're strumming downward. Down, down, down to Chinatown. All right, sorry. Um, so that's called a down strum. How are we going to do an up strum? We're going to use our thumb. Everybody give me a thumbs up. Thank you, everybody. I appreciate that. All right, so what you're going to do is after you go down... Notice how my thumb is underneath the strings. You just use your thumbnail and come back up. So all four fingers can go down. Thumb can come up. Question. Don't worry about it. All right. So you go down with your fingers, up with your thumb. Down with your fingers, up with your thumb. Down with your fingers. Up with your thumb. Down with your fingers. Up with your thumb. And you could gradually start going faster. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And we can go a little faster. Nice and relaxed. If you have tension, that's not good. Make sure we're not keeping our fingers tight like this. It's not going to give you a pleasant sound and it's not going to be fun to play. Your hand and your wrist and arm all kind of need to be relaxed. Fingers down, thumbs up. Now, make sure I see some people cheating and when they're going up, they're just taking like their flaps and hitting the strings with like your, the fleshy part of your fingers. That's no good. I want you to flick down with your nails, up with your thumbnail. To get that really uh, like sharp, piercing, bright sound, we want the clicky sound of our nails. All right. So we have our down strum. We have our up strum. Now the third strumming technique we're going to learn today is called the palm mute. So for that one, it's like a down, but you're going to apply pressure with your palm when you do it and you're going to get a ch kind of sound. So when you're hitting the strings, you should be muting them with your palm. Now, if it's not as loud as that, that's fine. All I pretty much want you to do is just kind of hit the strings with your palm. Like, don't spread your fingers out. And let's make sure we're not doing that. You just kind of put this relaxed shape on the strings and it should be a quiet kind of sound we're going to use this as like a timing device as like kind of a something to keep the pulse going while we're playing all right so even if it's not this really bright sound which you could practice and work on if you just kind of hit the strings quietly it's going to serve its purpose and do what we want it to do because typically we do that if we want the sound to stop All right, so let's review. We have our E minor seven chord, E minor seven, right? Open, second fret, open, second fret. And then we have A minor, all right? And then we're gonna review. We have our down strum, we have our up strum, and our mute. All right, so those are the ingredients we need to make the ukulele sandwich here. All right, I don't know what I'm talking about, okay. 
So let's go to paint here. Let's make this a little bigger. Bam, get rid of that ugly face. All right, and then let's see. Let's do our, our counts first. Um, let's see, what do we want to do for this? Let's go to the brush. Our counts, we're going to have one, two, and um, three, and then four. Wow, that's, you know, groundbreaking stuff here. And then, let's look at our strumming pattern. It's going to be down. Actually, hold on. I wanted to change colors. Down. Down. Up. Down. And then watch this guy. A mute. See how there's an X there? That means you're going to stop the sound. So, without changing our left hand at all, let's practice just this strumming pattern. Down, down, up, down, mute. Ready, go. Down, down, up, down, then mute. Down, let's re again. Down, up, down, then mute. Ready, go. Down, down, up, down, then mute. Again. Down, down, up, down, then mute. Make sure we're using our flicking fingers to go down. Flicking fingers are down, not our thumb. We're not using our thumb. Flicking fingers down, and thumb is for up. Mute, we're just kind of hitting the strings with our palm. All right, let's try it again. Ready, go. Down, down, up, down, then mute. Okay. So now, the chords. Our first chord is going to be our E minor 7. You could tell it's minor because it's lowercase. Okay? E minor 7. And then A is going to happen on count 3. Right? Um, here, let me make that a little darker. A, and then E7 is first. All right, so we have, that's everybody, get E7 set up, right? E7, and then we're going to go to A. All right, so get E7, here we go. And down, down, up, ready, go. Down, down, up and change. Down, then mute. Reset to ready, go. Down, down, up, then change. Down, then mute. All right, let's practice just our left hand real quick. E minor 7 to A minor. E minor 7 to A minor. It's, it's going to be easier in the long run if we keep our ukuleles flat against our front, by the way. E minor 7. A minor, E minor 7, then A minor, all right? So this strumming pattern, first is down, everybody just play down. And then after that, we're going to go down, up, down, up, and then we're going to change, and then down, and then a mute. Let's do it in super slow motion again. It's not really timed, that's okay, we're just going through the sequence of the motions. We have E minor 7, here we go, we're going to go down first. And then we're going to go down up. And then we're going to change to A minor. Right? So left hand change and then down. And then mute. Now make sure we're not muting it just by holding the string. Keep your hands in this shape and just kind of close, close the sound. That's one way to think about it. Like you're going to cut the sound off short. All right? So let's try it again. Get our E minor shape ready. E minor 7. All right, ready, go. Down, then down again. Down, up, change the down, down, then mute. And that's the basic pattern of the first four counts. One, two, and three, mute. Let's see if we can try it up to that speed. I'm going to count to four. One, two, three, four. 
One, two, again, go. One, two, ready, go. Down, down, up, down, you. Again, two, ready, go. One, two, and three, four. All right, so that's kind of up to the speed of the song. And that's like the whole pattern, but we're not there yet. We're only learning the first four. One, two, and three, four. Again, two, ready, go. One, two, and three, four. One, two, ready, go. One, two, and three, four. All right, I see some people um, not playing the first two notes is down, down, uh, down strum. All right, so we go down, then we're gonna go down up again. And then we change to A, and then we're gonna mute. Down, down, up, down, mute. One, two, ready, go. Down, down, up, down, mute. All right, uh, try it fast. One, two, three, four. One, two, ready, go. 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 All right, now, it's, sometimes it's a good idea to practice a little bit faster than the actual song. So when you do play at the real speed, it just kind of feels easy and comfortable. And it's not at the absolute limit of your, um, your talent. So over-practicing um, is sometimes a good idea. All right, so one more time at the real speed. One, two, ready, go. One, two, and three, four. Again, two, ready, go. One, two, ready, go. One more time, slow. One, two, and three, four. Again, two, ready, go. Down, down, up, change, down, you. Okay, we're going to stop the video there.